So welcome back to our podcast, and this is our fourth episode, and we have our second guest here today, Yay. Ashley. Hello. And the other cool part of this is that we are going to be recording this for YouTube, so if you want to take a peek at some of the content that we're going to be discussing today, which is all about inter trolls, <laughs> so people who troll. Basically, we're going to be reading mean comments that were said about us on a couple of videos, so we'll kind of go over that in a minute. <laughs> about you and Ashley. Yeah. <laughs> Mostly about Ashley. <laughs> so, Ashley, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and share with everybody who you are. Hello, my name is Ashley. I uh, work at Rebel Femme Salon with Yadira and Morella, and this whole video basically came about when Kasima. It was what a week after you had Kasima. Yeah, so Kasima is my daughter who's now over a year old. Yes, but at the time she was just like a couple weeks old, maybe three weeks old at most. Yeah. I think, think it, really, really I think tiny. it was only a week or two. Reading through the comments, at least the first one, it looks like it's like she's maybe two weeks old. Yeah, yeah. I know her belly button thing didn't fall off yet, so her she was around cord. two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, Kasima still had her umbilical cord on. Marilla couldn't give her a full bath, and she had this beautiful full head of hair that was so greasy. Yeah, because I was rubbing <laughs> my face on it. So, it hadn't been washed time. in two weeks. It was hair, this sense. beautiful yeah. hair. So I was told her, why don't you just hold her in the shampoo bowl and I will wash her hair for you so we don't have to get her umbilical cord wet or any of that. So I washed it, we filmed it, and I did a funny little blow dry at the end with um, cool temp and very low setting on the blow dryer. And Morella decided to post the video. Yeah, and people freaked out, like, real bad. And it was mostly because, well, not mostly, there's lots of reasons why, but uh, one of the reasons why is because of Ashley's claw-like <laughs> nails. Yes. I mean, they can do some damage, you know. Wait, wait, wait. But <laughs> I always <laughs> ask the guy, I always <laughs> ask the guy when I get them done that I want him to make them pointy enough to kill. Awesome. <laughs> Weapons. You know, self-defense. Just in case your, um, what is that little shocker thing you use? Oh, my taser. Your taser doesn't work? <laughs> yeah. You can be like, right in yeah. eyeballs? Yeah. <laughs> Self-defense. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> you gouging out eyes now? The, the other thing, too, about that video, and I'm going to share this on the YouTube as well, so they'll be able to see um, the YouTube of this podcast. You can definitely go on there and check it out. And we'll show little clips of it. But, um... The thing is, is there's so many variables. Like if you're not physically here, how do you know, you know, what temperature the water is, what the water pressure is, how really sharp your nails are, you know, they're really not that sharp. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just things like that. Um, With and the blow dryer setting. Yeah, blow dryer setting. So there's just like, how do you know? You don't know. And plus, there's a little thing called movie magic, guys. Right. Yeah. So. You know, we do a lot of editing. So there's actually two videos that we're going to be kind of going over, but uh, I it just kind of evolved to where I started to record a couple more videos, and then we kind of stopped, but um, Ashley's been notoriously, <laughs> like, like the notorious villain in <laughs> all of the videos. In the videos with her daughter, even though yes. Kasima and I are great friends, we love each other, um, she's always so happy. I have not passed on... Um, any diseases to her from my nails, nor <laughs> <laughs> nor have I gouged her eyes out or stabbed her with them. Yeah. <laughs> also, um, I do want to note the shampoo bowl because, like, I think we'll kind of you know when we go through the comments too. But yeah, the shampoo bowl, it there is like a headrest inside of the shampoo bowl, so like it was perfect. It's like perfectly designed for me to like cradle her. Yeah, cradle her and let my hands rest on it so she could rest on it. And that was something people couldn't see in the video. Yeah. So I, th I think that was why people were freaking out. But I thought the video was super cute because she was so happy. She loved it. And she like yawned at the end like most people do after getting their hair yeah. washed, blow dried. You're all relaxed and all you want to do is sleep after that. Yeah. And I, I honestly, I wasn't even... I recorded, I remember Caitlin was recording the video on my phone and it was something that 
I didn't even intend to put on Instagram like at all. It was just a video for myself because believe it or not, I keep some videos for myself. <laughs> I don't share everything on Instagram, but um, I last minute decided that I was going to chop it up, edit it. So it was, you know, 60 seconds or less and put it on Instagram and see what people thought of it, which I had no idea that it was going <laughs> to go this route. To the volume that it did. Uh. <laughs> so I don't know if you have the original post up. She's got it. I've got them. Um, but can you read the caption, like what I wrote? Uh, yes. So it says, apparently all my kids knew who they picked for a mom before baking in the womb because of the amount of hair they were born with. Little mermaid emoji. <laughs> <laughs> now you're sounding like my Ford Explorer. That's what I was going for. <laughs> So when I brought Kasima home, all I did was rub my face over her hair because we all know babies have the best smell. But after a week of rubbing my face on it, her hair got really oily and I couldn't give her a real bath just yet because of her umbilical cord healing. Face plant. <laughs> <laughs> so I took her to my salon for two reasons. One, to show off her pretty face. And two, get her hair washed in the shampoo bowl. And she loved it. So here she is at almost two weeks old getting her first service. Hashtag diva. <laughs> <laughs> so just in case for those of you that don't know, if, if newborns have um, it's their umbilical cord, it's healing and it's drying, um, you are not supposed to get it wet. So it was kind of interesting as we went through the comments, some people had other opinions. So I think it might be... A cultural thing or maybe like uh, something from like where you're from but here in the US you're not supposed to get the umbilical cord wet <laughs> <laughs> we have lots of people from all over the country some that we can't even really translate because some of it's I think like in Russian and Farsi so I don't yeah. know but uh, you're not supposed to get the umbilical cord wet you're supposed to let it heal and uh, let it dry out because it is a scab at that point and then it needs to like fall off when it's ready to fall off you can't just like pull it off so if you think of like a scab, like if you, if you, you know, have a scab, every time you get it wet, it gets soft and then it doesn't it's heal. Mushy. It takes longer to heal. Yeah. So it's best to you use rubbing alcohol and just let it dry out. Rubbing alcohol? Yeah. Sanitize it. Mm-hmm. But wouldn't burn. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Cause it's not open. Oh, that's true. You're just it's trying good. to dehydrate the area around it. I mean, I didn't even use alcohol for her. I just left it alone. Oh. So I know, um, Latino parents like to use alcohol. I don't know. Mine did. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's either Vicks or alcohol, so I don't know. <laughs> Vicks goes on everything. Yes. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and play the clip for YouTube, and then we'll go ahead and read these comments for our podcast here. <laughs> oh, she's doing so good. <laughs> <laughs> we can watch your baby Hi. too. Hi, got a sneaky newborn? We got you. I know. Oh, Dude, she seriously loves it. Hi. Okay, oh, go. Let me help you. <laughs> Go now, nice, freshly clean hair. <laughs> Beautiful. So, <laughs> what do you got, Yadira? Oh, I haven't I've read them in like seriously, probably so eight months. So many. To be honest, I didn't read them at all because Marla, you told me that they were so awful and terrible, and the people were saying the meanest things that I didn't even read them. I think I looked at one, and then it was so hateful that I just didn't read anything else. I didn't respond. I just didn't look at them. And I think too, the reason why this, this video essentially went viral cause it almost has 7 million views. So that was something we forgot to mention. Yeah. So 7 million views just on my personal Instagram post that doesn't even include all of the other accounts that shared the video and how much more comments <laughs> there were. <laughs> Um, on other people's channels and that's to not include even the Facebook 
videos that had been shared. So on Facebook, it's been shared probably more times than I think than on Instagram, but there's lots of hate on Facebook. <laughs> I feel like Facebook people are a lot more evil yeah. than the Instagram people. Little keyboard That's warriors. True. Yeah, it's the shit that people say behind a computer screen is fascinating. It is. I, I was actually just having this conversation with my son because um, he was like, why do people say mean things on the internet? And I'm like, because it's the internet. There's this invisible wall and it's shit no one would ever, ever tell say. you to your face. Because they know they're going to get their face beat. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like, you know, if you have an opinion of like, I don't know, this is going to sound dumb and petty, but like, let's say you, you saw somebody in person and you're like, wow, that's an ugly person for whatever reason. You would never go up to that person and be like, wow, you're ugly. But if you're on the internet, for some reason you have really it's big like, ass balls yeah. and you could be like, wow, you're effing ugly and you just wax your lip <laughs> and get rid of that boil or whatever. <laughs> boil. People are just so hateful Boils. and spiteful on behind, I don't know, behind a screen. Their screen just, that's not to your face. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go ahead and read the comments here. So here's a really good one. It actually started a little something with other people. <laughs> what? So the first person said, use a fucking blow dryer. Wow. Somebody responded, you know, you can use the cool setting, right? Dot, dot, dot. Ella <laughs> laughed my ass off. And then they responded back saying, that's going to fucking burn him, bruh. First of all, it's a girl. <laughs> And then somebody actually responds saying, pretty sure that's a girl, and obviously she would know to have it on cool. And then somebody else responds to the original person saying, are you retarded? <laughs> Blow dryers have low settings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so just to clarify for the listeners on the podcast, um, there was, after washing Kasima's hair, we did use a blow dryer on a low... The lowest, I think, heat setting. Lowest I think, heat settings. And I the think lowest cool, blow. Lowest, yeah, airflow. It was very soft, barely trickling on her pretty little hair. Yeah, and she loved it. Yeah, and babies love the sound of blow dryers, vacuums, like, mm -hmm. stuff like that. It's and white noise. It's white noise, yeah. and it's just, even the wind blowing on them, like, I to this day, my daughter sleeps with the fan on, because yeah. she just loves the fan. <laughs> So, anyway. <laughs> um, here's another one. It's not really mean. It's just, I guess, cultural thing, like okay. exposing your baby to elements. It says, I thought you shouldn't expose your, well, babu. <laughs> they, people can't spell. You know what? And I, think, I wonder if babu is like a name for baby in wherever they're from because... That's true. Because I learned that there's words like that they use in, I don't know, Australia that are like words... Oh, what is it? Like, they call a pacifier in um, Australia. It's called a dummy. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, and, like, someone said, oh, what a cute little dummy. And I was like, you're what? Like, Excuse you? <laughs> yeah. I just didn't get it. But she was referring to one of the pacifiers um, in Kasima's mouth aww. on one photo I have. And I was like, cute little dummy? Like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I got kind of pissed. And then I realized she was talking about the pacifier. Aww. But go ahead. Um... Uh, Oh yeah, expose your babu until about one month old. At two weeks, the baby barely has an immune system to fight against germs and infections at the salon. Another one. Well, can I can I uh, answer that? Because like I feel like I'm gonna get defensive on all of these. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, my salon was really new. There was nobody in it. There was nobody <laughs> in it, and the shampoo bowls were new. Everything was new, and I. Um, brought her here because it is my business and I only brought her around people like at the very beginning like to people that I really knew that I would all let see my baby anyway if it was at my house yeah but it was mainly you dear and I at the salon and yeah. we sanitize everything oh yeah, yeah. properly <laughs> so there were there were no diseases in the bowl yeah yeah um everybody washed their hands <laughs> Like normal, <laughs> like you would at your house. So there's another one that says, OMG, all that air blowing in the baby's face. Somebody responded saying, right. And another person said, I know, and all that air blowing in the soft spot of her little head. I, I don't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the soft <laughs> spot. I just think, I, okay, so the soft spot is like 
where the skull has not fused yet. So hopefully any of you haters listening to this can know that I'm actually educated. I know <laughs> how a baby is built. <laughs> there is still skin covering it. I mean, yeah, there's like the air from the blow dryer would have to be so significantly, which I don't even think it's possible for a blow dryer to have that much power for it to do any damage no, to no. blow pressure onto the brain from the outside. <laughs> and I think you'd have to be in a hurricane or yeah. something. It doesn't work that <laughs> this way. This was also before we had our Dyson dryers. Oh, so yeah. So it was very soft. It yeah. wasn't affecting her brain. Yeah. <laughs> and she's normal from what I know now still. So <laughs> <laughs> there's no brain damage. <laughs> um, this one confused me because I just don't understand the emoji at the end. It says... Mama's like, what are they doing to me? I want to sleep. Dot, 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 dot. Poodle. <laughs> what the fuck does the poodle I mean? I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's some kind of diss. I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. She, yeah, maybe she's calling me a bitch. Oh. oh like a girl dog. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I toss it right back at her. <laughs> You're a poodle. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to go back and actually answer these a year later. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, another one says, I just hate seeing long nails near newborn. Somebody else responded saying, right? Mm. Um, I mean, I wash my hands more often than anybody else I know, so... These seem kind of like the nice ones so far. I think you... So, yeah, I erased a lot of them. Yeah, yeah you got... Oh. Uh, so, I was getting... I got a couple death death threats, and I got a couple um, people who said they were going to call CPS on me and take my baby away. <laughs> For washing her baby's hair. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's a really long one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> it says, fucks. Poor baby, she's so little, and all she wants to do it's sleep. I'm reading it the way it's written, <laughs> just so you know. So, do they write it phonetically? I'm assuming so. So, all she wants to do it's sleep, and then look at those nails. I would not let anyone touch my baby with long nails when she's barely a newborn. What the fuck is going? What the fuck is wrong with this world? <laughs> And only washing her hair can get her sick because her head was at a different temperature at the that moment, but I guess. Somebody else responded s saying, legit, did you even see the chick with the nails doing anything that resembled harming baby girl's head? No. Her nails didn't scrape, massage, or dig, dig into any part of her scalp. Just let moms do their things, even if you disagree, and especially if you've never had babies of your own. This isn't her first rodeo. So somebody coming to your defense. <laughs> Original person res responded saying, I have a son and I would never do that. It's my opinion, but thanks for letting me know yours. Scalp, it's... What? Scalp, it's still sensitive to be doing that at a salon. Come on now. But whatever. I'm confused as to why her hair being a different temperature than her body is going to affect her. I don't know. <laughs> People, people have like their opinions on things, oh, especially with newborns and newborns go through so much trauma, like just getting, being birthed and going through the birth canal, like they can handle a uh, hair washing just fine. <laughs> yeah. I feel like they were, people act like they're super delicate and like, I don't know, sensitive, but they're mm -hmm. actually really tough. Yeah. Cause they go through a lot. They're soft and squishy cause they're meant to be like, yeah. The only main thing with, I think, a newborn that's like, super important is making sure that their neck is supported and because they do have a wobbly neck, so you can't just like let them be like whatever. But other than that, like, you know, watching even like nurses in the hospital, how they handle the newborns, mm -hmm. it's not all like careful. Like they just, they grab the baby, like, mm -hmm. you know, they just like handle their business and they, they just do it because they do it every day. <laughs> You're looking at the screen like concerning. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm just reading these because I was just, like, reading them before we started this. Mm, yeah. And now I'm, like, really <clears throat> deep in them. there. <laughs> okay. People are dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I didn't read this one. It says, did they really just blow dry a newborn's hair? 
somebody responded saying, you are the only person up here with some sense. <laughs> the other person, a third person responded saying, how about the water pressure? I'm sure that is too much pressure on a newborn baby's soft spot. What is wrong with people? They do anything to get a few likes on social media. <laughs> yep. And then somebody else said, I said the same thing. Literally, the water was not even on very high. Like, it was, like... And... And you can't... You can't... How would you know what the water pressure is through a video? You yeah. You can't see that. That's something that you feel. And somebody actually responded on here. I was... When I was reading through them, um, saying that the water pressure in a salon's sink isn't very different from your water pressure at home. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, just throwing that out there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's another one that says, it's cute and all, but come on, people. Babies have tender spots in their scalp. The water pressure is too much. I guarantee you that most of these people making comments about this scalp thing, they don't even know where the soft spot is on the head. Everyone thinks that it's, like, at the very back here, and it's actually oh, up front. So, they're all fucking idiots. Also, <laughs> bottom line. Also, I used, if you can't watch the video, I used two fingers to rub her little hair gently. Two fingers. That was it. There's no, there was no pressure. I wasn't jamming my nail into her soft spot. I was using two little fingers yeah. rubbing her hair. Also, if the baby is uncomfortable, you would know. The baby's gonna cry. Yeah. That's, cause that's what babies do. They cry. That's their communication of like, ow. That hurts. <laughs> like, come on now. Uh, this one I enjoyed because it just sounds like a personal issue. <laughs> uh, says, why would you take a baby to a hair salon? Can't even afford to take myself. <laughs> First well, of all, it's hers. She yeah. owns it. Mm -hmm. And, again, sounds like a personal issue. Yeah. It's not like I charged <laughs> the owner of the salon to wash her baby's hair. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people seem to have this concern. Even if she wasn't the owner, and even if it was one of my clients bringing me their baby, I would not like, charge yeah. them to wash their baby's hair. Yeah. It's such a minor thing. Like, this person also said, so dot dot dot, did someone pay for this? Oh, that baby is that. too adorable, though. <laughs> <laughs> and this one's just a diss to her name. This is weird. The name and the hair, and she's a stylist. Oh, I don't think I read that one. Yeah. My Instagram name? Uh, or whose? Or Kasima's name. I'm assuming it's Kasima's name. Yeah. Huh. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so cute. Whatever. Uh, there's another one that says, that's cute and all, but she's too young for her hair to be blown out. Somebody <laughs> just responded, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then somebody, shoot, the original person said, shake my head, whatever you say, dot, 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 foolish. And then the person that said no says, I just said no and you call me foolish. What is the world becoming? <laughs> Original person says, first off, you're too sensitive. Second, oh I was God. talking about the act of blowing out a newborn's hair is foolish. And anyone who thinks that it's okay is foolish as well. So if the shoe fits. I knew the person that is calling the other person a fool. <laughs> <laughs> has been all over your comments leaving... I didn't negative. I didn't trails blow behind. her out. I did not use a round brush. Yeah, and no. It was just a quick little. Gee, gee, gee. Yeah, blow dry. This People one's... got in like legit fights. Yeah, on my thread, <laughs> on my feed. It That's was, like the most entertaining part. Is that yeah, we're just fighting each other. Yeah, <laughs> they were fighting each other over something stupid. Like the comment, no. What I want to know <laughs> the, is that's the best response. No. <laughs> what I want to know is, do these people have jobs? Like, what do you do all day? What are day? you doing all day to where you have the time to argue with strangers on another stranger's post? Mm -hmm. I just, I don't, I don't get it. I did have a lot of, like, family members that came to my defense on my feed, and I told them to just, like, lay off because, or people would, like, send me messages like, oh, I'm so sorry people are being so mean to you, but honestly, it was so much entertainment for myself that every night I would, like, read the comments, and my husband and I would just die laughing at <laughs> half of them because most of them um 
there's like so many like grammatical errors, spelling errors, things that are spelled phonetically or how they talk phonetically. And you're just like, what the fuck am I reading? Mm -hmm. And who are you and where are you from? And why do you have no edumacation? Mm -hmm. Edumacation. Totally. (laughs) I think my favorite one was the one that I responded to. I can't remember what video it was. Um, I have it. And I don't remember what she said, but she said something and I was like, (laughs) whatever, troll, go back and crawl in the cave that you came from. And she actually erased her post. Oh. Yeah. Well, I um, have one. I have a different one that you were I to. liked the one that um, Caitlin, uh, so Caitlin's one of our stylists here at the salon, and she had um, corrected one of the comments because she had a lot of misspellings. And, um, oh. <laughs> and so I don't know if you it's on there or not or if it was no. on this video but the little lady like that she was you know correcting her spelling the lady was like shut the fuck up you stupid ass hoe <laughs> <laughs> and it was just so great <laughs> um I think that's pretty much all. I just have another one where I put like a big fat question mark next to it because it just says knowledge turn when him better. <laughs> what I don't does know. that what? mean? That's why I put a big fat question mm. mark next to it. I don't think they should be speaking about knowledge. Personally, <laughs> you need that did not knowledge. make any sense at all. <laughs> so those are all all the mean ones on that particular um, thread. Pretty much, there was a lot of people coming to your defense. And a lot of people with the same consensus that they just had baby fever all over again. (laughs) Yeah. Ovaries exploding. (laughs) I remember someone wrote a comment about, it was like uh, about the dolphin thing. I think that one was on Facebook because Lakaya responded to that one. Oh, it was on Facebook? Yeah. Yeah. What did the lady say though? Oh, she said something about the blow dryer um, having... Like, don't blow dryers have radiation? Yeah. <laughs> and then something about the, oh, the water, like, putting water on the baby's hair is probably bad because it can seep through the hole. In her head. In her head. And so one of my friends, uh, Lakaya, had commented on it, <laughs> and she was like, she, um, she's not a dolphin. She doesn't have a blowhole. <laughs> <laughs> By far the best so one. Good. <laughs> yeah, that was great. <laughs> and just for the record, blow dryers do not have radiation. No. There's no radiation that comes out of it. It's not a microwave. No. no. Where did you go to school? <laughs> yeah. Where did you learn this information? Yeah. It's just a, a heating element with a fan on it, literally. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. And there was another video. Um, so we actually made qu- quite a few videos, but we're just going to talk about the two today, right? Yeah. So there was another video that Ashley made, and we'll play it on the YouTube right now. Um, but she licks her hand. So that's how the, <laughs> the video opens <laughs> up. And she actually licked her hand. And then I cut the video. And then it went to her wiping her clean, wet hand with water <laughs> on the baby's head. And that's how movie magic is made. And if I remember correctly, we filmed me having water in my hand first and pretending to put my spit on Kasima's head. Mm -hmm. And then after we were done with Kasima and all of that, then we filmed me licking licking my hand. Yeah. So there was no... And it was purely for reaction because if you read the actual... uh, what is it called? Caption, Caption that I read, I wrote. Actually, you can probably read it. Yeah. So if people actually read it, it was a test. So that was the whole purpose of the video. So um, it was a second video I made and I was like, I'm going to test this out because if people actually read the fucking comment or the, <laughs> the caption, let's see who doesn't read it and still leaves a terrible mean comment. <laughs> the caption says, Kasima's hair is growing in so nicely that I thought it was time for her first updo. So once again, I took her into Rebel Femme Salon since she loved her last service. What do you think of her cute pony and bow? Products used. Water. Did you really think Ash Meow used her saliva and hairspray if you did? Good thing you read the whole caption. I mean, I wouldn't want to be called a bad mom or something. Hmm. (laughs) 
I got called a bad mom a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, I'm going to read your friends because she was joking. Oh, okay. And she said, do you even know what's in her saliva or on that hand? Actually letting another human interact with your own newborn baby in public. <laughs> But then she commented underneath and said, JK, she's so cute. <laughs> a lot of people loving it because they actually read the caption. I think a lot of people too, like when I was looking back at some of the comments, like they erased their mm -hmm. comments because they realized, like, I look like a dumbass. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. This person said, why the fuck would you lick your damn hand and put it in baby hair? Are you stupid? You know how many shit baby can catch? Disgusting. <laughs> so That's how they uh, typed it. So I know how to speak. Just these people don't know how to talk. I don't think. Um, again, didn't put spit in my hand and touch her. <laughs> There's a lot of people coming to your fence. Somebody said, "God, read the description." Mm -hmm. um, another person said, "Because it's her fucking baby, and she can do whatever she wants. That's why." Even though she actually didn't, and you would know this if you actually read the entire caption before spewing your negative comment and hashtag get a life. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and the original person said, LMAO, who are you to call someone ugly when you don't have any pictures posted? Get a life and read the whole caption next time, jackass. <laughs> okay. I hope that's her baby she did that to. Nope, it wasn't. <laughs> Not my baby, it's Morella's. <laughs> Somebody said, ew, that's nasty. Somebody else said, her hair is going to smell like spit. Ew. But she is adorable. <laughs> <laughs> why did she lick her hand? For a reaction. Yep. That's why. Yep. It's just so you could leave a comment and give me some engagement and some views and likes or dislikes, whatever you want. Or some shares. You probably shared it with your friends. All for the gram. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody commented saying, girl, why did you use spit? I'm just Lord. <laughs> okay. Um, it's great because you're looking at their profile pictures and you're like picturing them yeah. saying this. Did you just put your saliva in her hut? Didn't say hair. It just says hut. <laughs> And then Yadira commented and said, did you just write a comment without reading the caption? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. I don't remember that. <laughs> Shout out to Mama Graciela. She said, que guapa la cosita. Yay, mama. <laughs> Cosima loves you. <laughs> There were some good ones. I know. Where's the, the beat the brakes one? I think you deleted that one. Somebody commented and said, I would beat the brakes off that bitch if she did that to my baby. Yep. What does that mean? Yeah. What does beat the brakes off that bitch mean? Yes. Where, if you know what, what beat part the part of her is the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what beat the brakes is, please... Comment down on the YouTube. I or the really Instagram. want to know what I'm getting beat off me. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm gonna beat the brakes off that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I just picture somebody beating up a car for some reason. I, I see. Know. I think a lot of people are erasers. So I should have screenshot them as they were coming in because they were really great. But there was even a comment once where, um. That well, so there's a lot of um, Spanish speaking women, like Latina women, on my thread. Like, uh, Latina women specifically and black women did not like my video, like, at all. They came to the, de the defense of the baby hardcore. And I remember there was this one Latina woman, and she wrote something mean about you know, Ashley or myself or whatever. And so in Spanish. And so then my, my aunt who lives in Arizona started, um, commenting back in Spanish and, you know, coming to my defense and saying, um, she's actually a good mom. Like she has, you know, uh, two other kids and they're grown and you know, they're healthy, blah, blah, blah. 
like, uh, you know, leave her alone and this, that, and the other. And so anyway, they kept going back and forth, back and forth. And then eventually, um, the lady said, um, in Spanish to my aunt, and she said something like, um, uh, shut up, you're fat. <laughs> <laughs> and my aunt responds, I may be fat, but that doesn't change the fact that you're, you're a cunt. <laughs> Oh. And I was like, okay, we are done with this conversation. And so I had to message my aunt and I was like, hey, like, don't let these people get to you. Like, it's, it's okay. Like, just let it go. And she's like, no, it makes me so mad. She's like, because they're all talking in Spanish and you're not going to respond. And I was like, cause I don't, I don't speak Spanish. So, uh, <laughs> but I was like, holy crap. Like, you just need to let it go. Let it go. It's not a big deal. <laughs> oh my oh, goodness. Fun. Yeah. She's like, I may be fat, but that doesn't change the fact that you're a cunt. And I was like, okay. <laughs> this person said, ew, putting saliva in your, ba in your baby hair is nasty. <laughs> I, I bet you we have, like, some really good ones on Facebook. Probably. Oh, <laughs> that caption just exposed all y'all extras, but I'm not going to lie. I was this close to feeling attacked. Okay. Why? I don't understand. Attacked for what? Personally? I don't know. I don't know. I did nothing to them. Somebody said, nasty AF. You're nasty AF. That's exactly <laughs> what I was going to say. <laughs> this one? Why? Okay, this one's a little hard to read because they don't know how to spell. I don't know why you can't type in the A for that because THT to me doesn't say that. That's like how you, when you spell phonetically, you just say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's one extra letter, guys. Come on. You can yeah. type in the A. It's not hard. It says... Why would you do that to her? Shaking my head. I wish someone did that to my baby. They finna get beat the fuck up. What's finna? <laughs> I don't get it. Why do people Jaden, say that? Jaden can tell you. <laughs> okay. We need to Jaden's get not here. Jaden in here <laughs> to tell me now. what finna means. Finna get beat the fuck up. Okay. Like, why would you Why would you finna beat up anybody? And why would you let them touch your baby if you don't want them to touch your baby? It's your baby. Yeah. Just like it's my baby. I'll let whatever happens to my baby that I let happen to my baby. <laughs> and if that includes pretending to lick saliva on your hand and <laughs> put it on my baby, that's my business. <laughs> all I know is my mom licked her hand and wiped my face all, all the, the time, time. Yeah. when I was a kid. All the time. I'm I did, still alive. I did that to Kasima actually just yesterday. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this person said, what the fuck? So putting spit on someone's head is okay? Heaven help us. Oh. oh Heaven, please <laughs> save us all from our saliva. We need like a little sprinkle of something coming down. <laughs> or maybe like Jesus a flash dance with like the bucket. <laughs> oh my god. Bet they won't do that at a doctor's appointment. The doc would tell them not to. What? I don't think a doctor gives a fuck. No. No. <laughs> That's so fucking weird. I know. Let's take it to the medical professional. Is spit okay for your baby scalp? <laughs> <laughs> so you took her to a hair salon so they could put her hair in a ponytail? Can't you just do that at your house? Yeah, I could. But I wanted to make a video of it and put it on Instagram so you could view it and comment on it. Yep. And you did. And you did. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Wah! You got <laughs> trapped. <laughs> there was a lot like... My little scheme! <laughs> there was a lot that said, wow, so you couldn't do that shit yourself? I know. Again, she can do it herself. I just really wanted the effect of Ashley's daggers on... <laughs> next to Kasima's head. It was great. Yeah. Her poor infant head. Yep, her poor infant head. <laughs> she could have she been harmed in the making of this film. Yep. This one said, dude, <laughs> dude, just leave the babies alone. They don't need their hair done. When they can talk and ask for it, that's when you do it. Mm. Um, I know multiple babies who have little bows in their hair. Yeah. Why would you not do their hair? Just because they can't talk. Yeah. That's dumb. I think someone even wrote, um, I don't know which one video it was, but they wrote something about, you know, why would you do that to your baby's hair? Um, you should let them choose what they want to do to their hair. And I was just like, it's a baby.
baby. They can't talk, and they don't know any difference, so... Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Plus, if I'm growing a human for as long as I did, and then pushing them out, and then bleeding for a whole month... <laughs> Jesus. And then... <laughs> <laughs> and then fearing my first poop afterwards, like, I am entitled to, <laughs> to, put to putting their hair fucking hair, the fucking yeah, like, <laughs> putting a bow in it, like, come on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this one said, that baby like, girl, don't touch me with your nasty fingers. Okay. <laughs> no she, problem. I'm pretty sure she liked it, but yeah, that's it. I'm still stuck on the poop thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh like, my, my mind's been... <laughs> I would imagine that's all difficult. I got. So can, I know we're not talking about poop <laughs> on this podcast, but can I share my first poop with you guys? Yes. 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 So I was, would love to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually quite traumatic. So um, it really wasn't that bad, but uh, long story short, um, on my very first child, um, I had an episiotomy, so that's when they cut a little bit of your taint. <laughs> down a little bit so that way the baby can come out and uh so they sewed me back up so I had a couple stitches down there and you know you gotta heal and so they send you home with stool softeners because your butthole if you didn't know is right next to your vagina hole and so <laughs> they're neighbors they are neighbors <laughs> Um, they're super, super close. Like, I'm talking like... They're really close. An inch yeah. and a half? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. So... <laughs> so <laughs> I, if you can imagine having stitches that close, you know, and then when you go poop, like, your anus has to open up so the poop can come out, meaning it's going to stretch a portion of your vagina hole. And so I had to poop really bad, you know, uh, the first week after having the baby, and I held my poop for a week, like a solid week. Oh I, my I God. held it. Yeah, because I was like, I can't. And literally the last time I pooped was actually during labor. So <laughs> um, I know this because I asked my doctor. And so he said, yeah, I just scooped it up and moved it away. And I was like, okay. Cool. So anyways. <laughs> so <laughs> I had to poop and I held it for a week. And then um, I just remember... I was pacing up and down the hallway in my apartment and I was like in tears. I was crying and my husband was like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I need to poop. And he was like, just go poop. And I'm like, no, I can't. I can't. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. And I was like so scared that it was going to hurt. And so he, um, you know, turned the light on in the bathroom for me and turned on the water on the oh. sink. And I even remember, like, I think he might have lit a candle in there. Like, <laughs> he was trying to, like, make it as easy as possible. And he's like, I have the baby. Like, just go go in the bathroom. Like, shut the door and just, like, take it easy. Like, just try to poop. And I was like, okay. And I was like, I was, like, in tears. I'm, like, not even bullshitting you. And then I pooped and it came out nice and smooth and it was fine. <laughs> So those stool softeners totally worked great. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to worry about. The end. So that's it. All the other two kids then, you were fine pooping after you had them. No, I still had a little anxiety. I'm not going to lie. Mm. Yeah. No, I still had anxiety. Because it's like, it's just like the what if. Because what if the stool softener didn't get caught up? To like the old poop that's like sitting in there, <laughs> sitting in the chamber waiting to come out. Yes, that's why it's was like always in the back of my head. <laughs> the old poop. Because <laughs> what if that poop's like kind of hard, you know? Because maybe you had chips or something. <laughs> Jagged. Pieces Knowing of you. <laughs> <laughs> your chips and salsa. I do like my chips and salsa. So that's even worse. Like chips and salsa. Like it's hot poop. Like with <laughs> jagged chips in there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Because as spicy as I like my food. <laughs> like if my butthole's not burning, I don't like it. <laughs> if you don't have the ring of fire, you don't like it. Yeah, no. It's not morale approved. <laughs> it's not. I mean, I will admit when it's not hot when I poop, that's weird because I eat a lot of hot sauce. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast took a whole turn. <laughs> it's my fault. <laughs> I lingered with the poop. <laughs> oh All right. So basically, moral of the story 
there he is. We're going to move on from the food here. <laughs> Get back on track. <laughs> it's don't be an internet troll. <laughs> don't no. be an Instagram troll. Because if you are, you're an asshole. <laughs> if you, you have are. that much time to waste in your day, maybe go outside and explore the sunshine or something. Yeah, totally. Get some positivity in your life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if not, please comment on the next video I make of my daughter because all the negative stuff, it actually brings a lot of people, like the nice people, to my page too. So also, I don't really mind it. <laughs> I want to say there aren't a lot of people who are confident and comfortable like mm -hmm. us to laugh off all of this hate there totally. are some people who really do take it to heart yeah and go into a dark place after reading this i'm sure morella got some really hateful things that we did not read uh yeah i got actually i don't even know if i mentioned this but i got death threats did i mention you that you did not say that no. so i actually got two people um that told me that i should die and that i don't deserve my kids um and that, um, yeah, basically that if they ever saw me on the street that they like do something to me. So, you know, and honestly I didn't save them. I just ignored them and deleted them. Um, but I was just like, wow, like you're that passionate about a baby getting their hair washed that you're going to, you wish death upon me. Like you wish that I didn't exist, that my baby would live without a mother. Like, great. You're a great person. Because that's a better resolution to just... Totally. So yeah. it's just, you know, um, for me, like I was able to, like, I, I genuinely did not get upset about it. It was, yeah. it was entertainment for me. Cause it was just, I know how stupid people are, but then yeah. I also know people who would actually go to a dark place. Totally. And really yeah. hate themselves after for that. Yeah. I don't think a lot of people are fully confident and comfortable in their own skin. So mm -hmm. when they get people telling them that they really take it to heart. Yeah. So yeah, you know, just don't be a, don't be an asshole. Nope. When you want to be an asshole, turn it into something nice. Yeah. And if you can't, just go outside, like Ashley said, go for a walk, get some sun. Maybe yeah. You need di vitamin D in your life. Yeah. <laughs> some extra <laughs> special vitamin D in your life. <laughs> <laughs> that was too easy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Just up. don't get. I did. I did. Don't get knocked up like Morella. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you want to. I mean. Yeah, you could if you want. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, do you guys have anything else to add? No. To no. Uh, inter trolls with Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much, Ashley, for being part of our fourth podcast. Thanks for having me. And um, for all of you guys listening. Um, if you happen to be in the Southern California area and you are either um, a current client of the salon or maybe want to be a future client of the salon, there's actually a little, um, what is it called? A, oh my gosh, I forgot what it's called. Ad? <laughs> no, not ad. <laughs> no. Coupon? Yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of like that. It's like a, but it's a word. It's like a code word. <laughs> Code word? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you go down to the description of this podcast, we'll put it on the YouTube too. There's going to be a little code for a special savings. Um, oh, like a password. Yeah, it's like a password. Like a secret so password. if you make an appointment at the salon, you can use secret password for a special uh, discount. <laughs> so make sure you check that out. And then also make sure you follow us at RubbleFem underscore podcast on Instagram. Do it now. Do it. Do it. <laughs> One of us. One, One of us. us. <laughs> I had to do it. <laughs> All right, so we'll see you guys next week. Adios. Bye. Bye.